Today, I'll be making this mood barometer. I start by cutting two pieces of plywood. After cutting to size, I sand them down to 800 grit and stick on the plans. I next drill the pivot holes and all the entry holes. The backer board is cut first. This is the 6mm Botic Birch plywood. I remove the pattern and then of course there's some more sanding. I've decided on a dark walnut stain. I have three coats letting dry in between and also sanding very lightly in between every coat. Most of the time spent in this project is cutting the characters. Here I remove the demon. I add the zero clearance. This is just to help me not lose any of the small pieces through the gaps. And then I cut all the small pieces one by one. I cut up to and including the line. And sometimes this happens. With all the pieces cut, there's loads of sanding. Every piece gets uh, sanded. This is a close-up of one of the pieces. This is one of the bigger pieces. So after sanding each piece, I place them in their position to see if everything fits. The whole process is repeated with the angel. The angel is slightly easier to cut because it has fewer pieces. The halo is probably the most tricky part. Adding painter's tape really helps remove the pattern of the wheels. Then I sand all of the pieces of the angel and do a dry build. I cut the remainder of the front piece. And then start cutting all the letters. I'm not that fond of cutting letters, but these ones were quite okay because they're very angular. More sanding. And a hidden message. To remove the dust from the pieces, I add a piece of cloth, a net actually, on the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner and pass all the pieces in front of it. I 
and glue everywhere to the back of the front part. And then using the pivot hole, I align the two pieces, having the axle in place. This makes it very easy to align the two pieces exactly. And clamped in place to dry overnight. I make two wooden washers to add to the indicator arrow. One for a bit of clearance in the front and one at the back to keep the arrow in place. After I spend so much time cutting up everything, I need to reassemble it. Here I am just doing a dry build to make sure all the proportions are correct. Once I'm happy with the alignment and the arrangement of everything, I one by one add glue to every piece and stick everything in place. This whole process took about an hour and a half for each of the characters. It is good not to drop any of the pieces, especially if they already have glue. I repeat this process for the angel. I add the feet to the back to provide some clearance for the rotating washer at the back. Using acrylic paint I add some highlights, red eyes and the yellow halo. I finish the item with four coats of spray lacquer. I apply this to the front and the back. And finally, I add a small piece of paper to create extra friction and stick the washer in place with a small drop of super glue. And it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah.